guys, Kuro Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. Aaron. And we're back with Jujitsu Kaizen. Last time, we're still in this prequel uh, arc story, but uh, everyone that I know to be alive died. What? <laughs> A lot of people died last episode, apparently. Did they all die? Yeah, Gojo was is dead. No. I killed him. No, but they're... No, okay, I get what you're saying. But no, they can't. And right? then... They can't be dead. Gun. Well, she might be dead. Shoot. Right? She's not... She's not in the Should future, be. is she? Huh? She's not in the future, is she? Not that I remember. Yeah, she might be dead. She might be dead. But, uh, yeah, we gotta fight this guy with no powers. Yep. Gojo seems weird. Yeah. Maybe it's because he died and didn't die. I mean, he's too powerful. That's what it kind of seems like to me. I mean, he's really strong before, right? Yeah, he's always been strong. He's had but that infinite thing that going yeah, on. Yeah, we never really had to see him, like, try <laughs> sometimes, you know? I mean, he has that infinite power. I guess it just, that power just corrupts, I suppose. I don't know, maybe. I mean, even he said about something different being about him, and maybe that's because of the reverse energy thing that he did. Yeah. Um... I'm. Maybe I can't else. make heads or tails of. I don't like. They're saying things, but I, I'm not absorbing them well. <laughs> the sorcerer killer said that he's gonna have a son that's gonna be taken by the Zenin clan at some point. Yeah, they're talking about uh, uh, Migami, right? Ishiguro. I don't know. Don't they have the same name? Does who have the same name? Migami and the sorcerer killer. I don't know the sorcerer's name. Killer. They've called him Migami, haven't they? Uh, he said he named something me me Megami. Yeah. That's something he said. Like, talking about blessings, I named it Megami. Yeah. But is it me was it Mega with an E or with a U? Whenever he said that. I don't even know where it was. I forget. But his... If that's the case, then his son has powers? I would say so. Like, he's got power. I know he says he does, but he's got powers. Like, that motherfucker's too fast and strong. You know? Well, I think he's just... he's. He has, in like his increased strength and everything, he's been working on. So he's he trying to be peak physical condition, and then he has the pack that also increases pack. all of his like senses and stuff mm -hmm. too. So he can react probably faster than most, right? Yeah. Hearing things and seeing things and smelling things. Yeah. <clears throat> just saying, but, like, if like explaining things makes you more powerful, like, does the other person comprehending matter? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Because if so, then he would get no power up around me. Sure. <laughs> I get what you mean. Yeah. He also just said my kid, right? He didn't say son. He said kid, I think. I don't know. I was just thinking, too, like... And then it showed, like, the young, spiky-haired boy, too, right? That looked like Ushiguro to me. Did it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Or at least I thought it did. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Hmm. I know these first five episodes are are the odd ones out, but I guess I thought it was like an older thing, so I thought it was just like him when he was younger or something. But I guess still, if it's him younger, then he looks kind of like his kid. Mm -hmm. If it's him, yeah. Was he sold to the Zenin clan? I remember there being a Zenin clan thing. Stopped? Well, I mean, there was um, one thing I think about too is that there's that girl who was a Zenin sister and mm -hmm. she only used cursed objects because she had no yeah. cursed energy uh, of her own. Maki. So I was trying to remember different aspects of that. Yeah. But I think she was also I mean maybe that could work then because who else worked under Gojo? It was uh, what's his name? Ish it Itidori? Itid Itidori? Yeah. And then Fushi Fushiguro and uh, what's the girl's name? Nobara. Nobara. Mm hmm at least they're under Gojo. Maybe Gojo is watching them for whatever reason. I wonder how powers work. Because, like, if that's the case, his son definitely has sorcerer powers. Mm -hmm. He summons wolves and stuff. He definitely does. Hmm. Like, he could use it, I suppose. He just doesn't, so he stays invisible, right? I thought he didn't have any powers. Just has none at all. Like, the same way as uh, Maki? Yeah. Like, Maki, there's nothing that she sure. can't. Like, she doesn't use it because she chooses. She just can't use it. So yeah, she has that little, like, quarter that turns into a big snake. Gross. Oh, I can't even do the sound. Look at it. It's like a hairball. Yeah. 
And then, yeah, it grows he into uses his that as his intestine. bag of holding. It's gross, Cern. It's gross. And he holds it in his bag of holding, in his stomach. But he doesn't digest it. Can you digest the spirit? Uh, the one guy can. Yeah. Right? What is his name? Sajaru? Mm-hmm. Like, he can absorb him. Like, David Blaine does that. He puts, like, fish in there, and he does it, you know, for... Sometimes he'll do a trick, and then he's like, well, you've had the fish in your stomach for such a long time, right? I guess so. Like, how... I guess he just fills it with water and dilutes his stomach acid? You know? I don't know how that works. I don't think that that's what he does. I don't know. I mean, it's just a cursed thing. It probably... It can't die except for by cursed objects, right? Maybe. So I don't think stomach acid will kill it. Stomach acid can take... Like, you can't shoot it, right? Shooting it won't kill it. So you think stomach acid will? Have we tried? I'm sure they have. That's why you need a cursed object to fight a cursed, cursed creature. <laughs> what about a cursed bullet? Well, if it's a cursed bullet, it's different. Well, then we should do that. But you don't have cursed stomach acid. Well, I'm sure we could find someone to curse it. Who do you give the name Megami to? Was he talking about his son? Was That's talking what about I his, assume. Was he talking I mean, about his creature? And we know... Was he talking about something else? He's like, speaking of blessings... Mm-hmm. I, don't know. I just I, I already didn't have like the the best grasp on all the Jujutsu Kaisen lore, and I feel like this one is like you better or you're not gonna be able to follow it. And I've been like, well, guess what camp I fall in? <laughs> hmm. No, I mean I get you. There's a lot going on. Jumping back, trying to place what's gonna be coming ahead. Mm-hmm. But maybe maybe we'll get more as we watch. Maybe the next episode. Can, in, Tells us more. And I think it's supposed to be like the end of this, more. like this small arc before we get back or go to, you know, whatever. But we'll see. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, the animation's gorgeous. The you know the stuff is gorgeous. I'm just having a hard time grasping everything that I'm seeing. Personally, I'm. I hope it's not too frustrating to watch. <laughs> no, I mean I like the fight. Uh, I was sad that the dragon thing got cut in half. It did. Because the dragon thing was cool. Is it just dead now? I guess. Didn't the wolf die? I suppose so. Like, cursed, cursed creatures can die. Mm-hmm. I mean, did he, he must have absorbed the uh, the worm, right? He was going towards him, yeah. No, I would say so. And then he went into that, like, church place, and everybody's clapping. Well, that was the the part of the cult, right? Yeah. Because they were trying to find the star cult, what a vessel thing, and... Then he took the body down there. Then they ran away when everything happened. And then all those people were just kind of like, yay, yep. thank you for saving us, I guess. I don't know. And he got there just late because he got healed. Mm-hmm. The maid, I guess, got taken away, and she's okay. Gotcha. Right? So no one died except for Rico. I think. Yeah, I believe so. All right, well, we're going to be jumping into the next episode, guys. Make sure you subscribe for more. Uh, you guys can check out blindwave.com where you can find more of our videos, our full links, uh, early access. We have some ways that you can recommend shows there. It's just an all-around great time, so make sure you guys are going to blindwave.com. Look at that guy's forehead. I don't know if I wanted to press it.